Howdy folks, Kerbo here, back with some more Abandoned Forest. And in the last episode, we got all the mowing done, got the grass down, turned into hay, and bailed up. And uh, we got uh, we got some cloudy weather moving in, so I'm going to try to get all the bales up on this trailer uh, and under a roof down there in one of those huts so we uh, don't ruin the hay. But I wanted to take a quick uh, second here just to admire the beauty that is Dynamic Hoses. Uh, if you're not familiar with dynamic hoses, it's, uh, it's basically a farm sim script that somebody made uh, and some models and stuff. So normally you don't have any hoses connected to the tractor or they're just kind of sticking up there by the back so it looks like they're connected. But these, if it supports it, if your tractor supports it and your implement or trailer or whatever you're pulling supports it, uh, it's pretty darn neat. So we got these cables coiled up here. And I'm using manual attach, so it's it's separate. If you don't have manual attach, you just hit Q and everything hooks up at once. But if I hook these up, you'll notice there's ports up here, hydraulic, electric, air, whatnot. If I hook these up, they actually plug up where they're supposed to go. Pretty neat stuff. And you'll watch as we go around the corner up here. Oh, it's a little, a little things, but how cool is that, huh? Hoses are connected where they're supposed to be, and they stay right plugged in there. Anywho, I've been trying to uh, use that as much as possible in this series. I don't know if anybody had noticed or not, if anybody's a fan of dynamic hoses. But all the tractors I've been using, uh, with the exception of the Massey, unfortunately, I didn't have a big tractor that supports it. But i uh, been trying to use just tractors that support the uh, dynamic hoses. So, I don't know, I may get a wild hair and, and add it to that stock Massey. But, uh, anywho, just wanted to point that out. Uh, let's go get some hay bales. Pull this trailer up here in the field and we'll get to loading. It's a shame that uh, 8R didn't work out because it's, uh, it's a nice tractor, but it, it had several issues. Uh, not only did it not have the front PTO shaft, which limits its versatility, um, it didn't appear to get dirty, so it's it's got a few issues here and there. So someday when I got some time, I may I may fix that tractor. In the meantime, let's get some hay bales stacked. And yeah, I'm using the pallet for work, but it works just as well. Stick that in the hay. been around my channel or my streams very long you know I do enjoy stacking I normally use the Kotec fork that lets you do four at a time we're gonna go old school here with the pallet fork I'll just do a couple of times so that we don't get screwed over by farm sim physics hopefully Easy there. Easy, Kerbo. Calm down. Put those about about there. Pretty close. So we're just going to stack these up. This will be a stacking episode, basically. Probably be quite a bit shorter than normal. I'm just going to get the hay stacked up and under a roof. I'm actually recording this right after I recorded the last episode, so I'm not sure how long that was going to be even with editing down. I, th I have a feeling it's going to be a long one, so we'll throw a short one in here to compensate for that. Not everybody has the patience required to watch a long video or even the time. Don't have to be perfect, but I like to be somewhat precise here. Ooh, easy bales, easy. Don't have a whole lot of hay here, but you know, if we end up doing cows someday or sheep, I think you can feed hay to sheep, then this hay will come in handy. Let's get this strapped down before something bad happens. 
I have another strap. No. Nope. That'll do. We'll get this far one here. So we got four on the trailer, then we got two, four, or five. So we basically got nine bales out of this, I think. Unless I missed one somewhere. Probably get a lot more if I would plow this up and plant grass and fertilize it. All three stages. We'd get a lot more yield out of it. And I might just do that if we do end up doing animals. I'm got my hands full right now with just crops, but figured no need for this grass to go to waste. I don't think you can sell bales, right, with seasons? Isn't that something it gets rid of? Don't remember. Gotta kind of balance this out. Let's, should we just put these towards the back? Yeah, if I do that, I probably won't have room. Yeah, we'll have room because we just got the one extra bale. Yeah, that way we don't have all the weight up there on the trailer tongue. Beautiful. I do love it when a good stack comes together. So we have Farm Sim 19, they're saying, coming out towards the end of the year. be interesting to see how, if at all, they improve things like bale and log physics. They could really use some love. But I'm not holding my breath. I think they're going to make it pretty. Probably not change a whole lot of the core gameplay. But I could be wrong. It's nice to get an updated graphics engine for sure, but... I would prefer realism and, and good physics over graphics. But their core market really is console players. You know, the more casual crowd. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So they're not catering to the hardcore realistic guys. Kind of a niche. But, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some of their screenshots are showing off. Looking pretty nice. That uh, physics base rendering or whatever it's called. Where it actually models like the light rays bouncing off of different types of materials. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty good balance load. And we'll just throw this extra veil on there somewhere. And we're done. I should really get a lower, lower spike on that. Good way to rip a bale apart. Not that you can do that in farm sim, but... Do I? Let's stick this guy right up here on top. It's sitting crooked on the forks, so we're going to come in crooked. There we go. That will work. Works for me. Rain can just hold off for another five minutes. We're going to be good. This guy strapped down. Pretty cool trailer. This is the first time I've used this Flegel set. Nice models. They work pretty well. I got the smaller tires on there. Just make it look more like a trailer. Like what I'm used to. Really rough right in here. I wish there was a way you could smooth that out. 
you can in the editor, but then you gotta move all the trees and rocks and whatever. Alright, let's find the Quonset Hut building down here with the least amount of holes in the roof. <laughs> this one isn't bad, actually. That's why I stuck the uh, combine in there. This is where I was storing the trailer anyway, so... Oh, I cut her way too sharp. I think we can save it. We'll stick it right back in here. Got quite a bit of cover. Keep that hay nice and dry. Now, the Z key, which I use for manual attach, uh, interferes with the logging winch script on the Land Rover. That's why you get that message. I need to go fix that script. I've got a lot of stuff I could do. If I didn't want to play farm sim, I could fix all kinds of things. <laughs> But that's the way it goes. So we got our hay in. That's the close of another day. Uh, I think we're just standing by. We need to get, I believe, one more spray of fertilizer on uh, fields one and two. I think. About lost track. I got so much stuff going on. Got the, the gang all over here ready to get washed. Top out. Let's just take a quick look. Do I have? I do have that. Does it estimate? It does estimate seed usage and stuff. I wonder how accurate that is since I'm the one that plowed it. I don't know if those are defined. Really, they are because I haven't plowed four or five. So that's probably not super accurate then. All right, we'll turn that off. Let's go take a quick look here. Everything's growing. That's that's a plus. Uh, so we're we're at full stage tree fertilization on field three. It is good to go. It is just uh, a waiting game till harvest time. But we need some fertilizer down on one and two. But I think I'm waiting for the next uh, growth stage on those. We're still just kind of the first growth stage. So here in a day or two or three, we'll need to put some fertilizer down. Other than that. Um, we're just kind of waiting, so I might, uh, we'll see, I might clear out some of these trees that are kind of in the way around the, the farmyard, even though most of them are pretty small. We could do that. There's always something to do around the farm. But, uh, that's it for this episode. It's kind of a short one, like I said. I will catch you next time, and take care.